Wait, Bucko. Easy. Ready. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. LegionAthletics.com, code good company, and 3SB.co. Check out all your apparel needs. Um, I got this AI app. I've been dealing with them a long time because I've felt like, so I went to art school my whole goddamn life. And I feel like I'm an artist, but I can't draw, right? And that's I can't draw either. And so. obviously, that's not on one medium. Yeah, yeah. But when you say like, "Oh yeah, I'm pretty artistic," and then I draw stick figures, it just doesn't. <laughs> I can't portray the <laughs> message. You know what I mean? And so, like AI, although it's getting a lot of hate, I yeah. think is my key to be the world's best artist. I can't disagree with you. I've been using the uh, uh, AI thing inside of Canva to make um, YouTube thumbnails. Yeah, it's probably genius. It, it is pretty genius. Yeah. yeah, you. I mean, you can't get somebody like squatting or whatever because, it, you, I mean, there there's a person squatting and it's not anybody that you can recognize, but they look familiar. But there's always something wrong with how their hands are on the bar. Do you see what I posted today? No, I made a good one because I know what you're talking about because I had that issue too. Did you post the Spooderman? No, I didn't post the Spooderman, oh. but that one's really good too. I, I didn't post that one either. Did I text you that one? Oh, shit. Oh, fire. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, bro. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fire. great. I love that. But uh, so oh, here's boy. a good one. And he is double overhanding. Oh, geez. But that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then uh, there's a bad one. Where do, I don't know if I saved it. I'll try to show you. Basically, I, I cooked up like pop stars um, deadlifting or in a gym. Pop stars, deep fakes. <laughs> you doing deep fakes? Yeah, but I try to make it Hopefully purposely cartoony, below. so it doesn't look like I'm like, you know, yeah, like his, his face it. is a cartoon right there. I'll show up the other one because I tried to do Travis Scott also, but that um, this one's funny too. <laughs> Cropped up. Oh shit! Oh my! I don't want to tell great. him the app because I think this is <laughs> this is my secret. I don't, I don't but like this, I, he looks all fucked up, kind of like you're talking about. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. like something. There's like, something oh, wrong. Yeah, there's like, like something. He's bent at the waist in a weird way. Yeah, and his arms are like too long. Looks yeah, like every NBA star that tries to deadlift. Right, a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like LeBron you're too James tall. Squat. And, then, James. and then another one like where the bar just didn't show up. It is interesting how this like. Oh yeah, I've, yeah, I've had that happen. He's like too, standing yeah. on a big ass plate, which is kind of sick. It just know. makes but Kanye look but stupid no. small. But yeah. no bar. Yeah, there's no bar. It's Kanye West trying to deadlift. He's naked for some reason. His feet are kind of staggered too. His left hand. Is like on his shin and his right hand's to the right of his knee. I forget that we're on audio. And then like he's standing on a giant plate, which is kind of a cool concept for some reason. We're to form me. checking the AI. Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> but the gym in the background looks sick. Kind of looks like us. Yeah, the gym in the background's like. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Did you type three SB in the? I did. <laughs> I did. I said put Kanye's head on my body. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't look like that. What? <laughs> that guy's way more jacked than you'll ever be. Uh, Cap. Get naked. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hello. There's no way you're that jacked, dude. No, he's not. Get, That's I mean, not not bad. Def- not, not, not bad. I'm not going to criticize, jacked, but like, but you're he's not. like, he's a little fluffy. Yeah, that looks like a linebacker in the NFL. You're going to go look at like Bosa but and I was say like, like nah. a linebacker in the NFL, Mike. Five, six people don't aren't supposed to look like linebacker in the NFL. You look like a chode. <laughs> you look like a little mushroom We're talking about being jacked What are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking about being built like a lineman I'm talking about being jacked And I'm sorry, well, I'm not Okay, that's what the point was You said you're more jacked than Kanye I, Well You're maybe more you're, Your physique is more like real life, Kanye oh, That's ow. disrespectful ow. That's gotta be That's ow. disrespectful oh, That's disrespectful He looks alright No, we don't He's not as fat uh, as he was When he, he first got, got cloned He still got a beer belly He got no arm When he first got cloned <laughs> Did you hear <laughs> When he first got cloned <laughs> Speaking of AI I think Jamie Foxx got cloned too No shot What? Jamie Foxx got sick Yeah Comes back And now he's like missing a, his neck tattoo That's what I hear Oh, that's interesting Well, you can't they have chop- him removed huh? so well, They chopped his head off And put it on somebody <laughs> yeah. else's body Yeah now look at this With a face. clean look neck. Face. Okay, what happened to his tattoo <laughs> then, dog? Is there? Is it? It there? Look it, it up. It gotta be. Find me a, a, a. When did he get sick? August. Uh, probably well, maybe earlier than yeah. that. I saw a video of him. Like, I'm a huge Jamie Foxx fan. I saw a video of him after he got sick too, like the first comeback video, and mm-hmm. he looked not healthy. We yeah. were talking about this to L.A. Yeah. Yeah. We were put yeah, on. Yeah, I think it was video. L.A. when yeah. he posted it. He looked not healthy. Yeah, yeah, so it was July when he came back. So, yeah, it was probably, like, January when he got sick or something. You know the movie iRobot, right? Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know it well. Shia LaBeouf. You think we're going that direction? 
Yeah, have you seen some of the bots out there? Yeah, they're crazy. You think they go flip on us? <clears throat> like like yes. Skynet style, like Terminator. The deeper question I wonder, yeah. and, and this concept was first brought to me from Tom of Blink one eighty two when he was on Rogan like ten years ago. Because uh-huh. Tom, you guys know Blink one eighty two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where are you? After <laughs> that's all you know is the meme. <laughs> all you know is the meme. You don't even know <sighs> You don't even know their music. But Continue. What's my age again? What? Yeah, it's a good song. Okay. So he <laughs> their band broke up or whatever and Tom made a movie production company. Mm-hmm. And his claim, uh, although very wordy and roundabout, his claim on Joe Rogan's show, I don't know if it's CIA, um, but somebody pays movies and directors and producers to slowly introduce scary real concepts to the mass public so then we don't freak out when real shit happens right so we make sci-fi movies slightly scarier but we've made them since like you know the 50s or whatever with aliens and then now in 2020 which is crazy 2022 the government literally tells us yes we have fucking alien ships and no one Right, it's in the news cycle for ten hours, and everyone's like, "Yeah, <laughs> right." So, uh, like, I, I, but I think that they would do that without being paid. I, I, I mean, it's, it seems like that that's the sort of thing that happens, and and stuff goes in cycles too. Because, like, I don't know if you've been watching Reacher, the, no. the new season of but Reacher. I know it. I've never seen it. Um, uh, well, for one thing, Robert, speaking of Terminator, Robert Patrick is in it, that who played the the liquid metal Terminator in Terminator mm. Two, uh, and <laughs> one of the one of the female characters in the show uses uh, an alias to check into a, a hotel or something, and the name that she uses is Sarah Connor. And he's like, "Who the hell is Sarah Connor?" Yeah, little Any, throwback. Anyway, that's a super violent show. I mean, super, super violent, crazy. You know, sh- people being shot all over the place all the time. And there's a scene where this guy's getting his legs beat up with a um, with a crowbar. Like, literally, you can see it hitting and all this stuff. I mean, you know it's fake, but it looks terrible. Yeah, yeah. But in the 70s, movies were like that. And then we had a period of time where, where they were not nearly as violent. And now violence is okay, is okay again. I, so, I, I mean, like, introducing secret government secrets. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm not I'm talking just, about, like, uh, exposing you to life. So my point being that I, Robot... If we got those robots somewhere, maybe that's a representation of what they already got. Have we talked about the open AI thing, the thing with their CEO? I don't know if we have. Uh, a few weeks ago, their their CEO um, got just like tossed by the board. Yeah. And there are two different stories running around. One of them was that he was either for or against, I'm not sure, some kind of social good program that, that they were funding. Yeah. And um, I don't remember if he was, like I said, before, for it or against it. But the other story that's been printed in numerous places is that the company discovered a AI breakthrough that he felt was going to endanger the human race. Nice. And didn't report it to the board. Nice. And though they found out and tossed him. Didn't he already, like, leave and come back? Well, yeah. He went to Microsoft for a minute. And then, like, 500 of their engineers signed a letter saying, we're going to quit if you don't bring him back. And so they tossed most of the board, and he's back. Yeah. But the crazy thing is I know a guy who works for a consulting company that works with Open with AI. open AI, and he he heard the same story I had yeah, about the it is scary the the AI you know potentially threatening the human race. You just never know who to believe, you know, because like Elon's talked very publicly about it, um, and like in a famous interview with Rogan like four years ago or whatever, he was like basically calling it doomsday. But then yeah. in like a more recent one, he's like, well, I don't think it's going to be all that bad. I'm just saying it could be, and I'm like, all right, like now you're just marketing, you know, like who's like I don't like that CEO is probably not on a bunch of fucking podcasts. Uh, but that's who we need to hear from. Yeah, that's probably who we need to hear from. Yeah, like, but then even then, you know, they always have ulterior motives and like, who knows what's actually going on. It sucks. Um, not to change the subject, but uh, Elon, uh, Cybertruck. Yeah. Anybody? Matt, weigh in. We we got Matt with us, and and then Seabass is also on the mic today. Yes, sir. He's sitting at the board, and he's gonna. That thing throw in ugly here. as hell. Really? I, I agree. I, I have heard when you see it in person, it's cooler. Nah, that, 
ugly as hell in person too. I'd I'd paint it like Master Chief green. Oh, because oh. it does kind of look oh. like a halo, but it's stainless say. steel. Yeah. It's like yeah. a Delor- Delorean. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like the 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 fuck. What's it called? The Halo truck. That little SUV yeah, truck, yeah. right? Yeah. Throw Fuck, it has a <laughs> minigun on the back. Dude, I'm embarrassed. I don't know the name. Yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> I feel like it looked dope with the the 4x4, four four, like the chain wheels. Yeah, like yeah. Make it look like a tank. Yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting either. I do find it funny. Uh, Twitter, I don't know who it was, but like a big news outlet or someone was like ripping it for its danger of how heavy it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, I've heard that multiple times. But that's r- so stupid. But there's so many other heavy ass yeah. trucks that are Well, no, so it's, the, it's not that it's because it's so heavy. It's because it's really fucking fast sure, and heavy. Sure, sure, sure. But, I mean, a semi-truck in an open lane can get up to 100 and kill anyone. And a semi-truck the, ain't accelerating as fast as that cyber. No, no, of course not. Of course yeah. not. But I'm just saying, like, the whole article, I read the whole article and I read all the responses. Like, it's about its weight and its momentum, and I get that. But, like... An F-250 is fast. You chip that thing? That thing goes 0 to 60 in, like, under 5? Just put bigger Brembo's on a bitch. Yeah. So, like, an F-250, I mean, I'm I'm saying they're all, like, any car, though. You drive a fucking Mini into somebody or something, you're going to fuck them up. Well, yeah. Especially the electric one, because they're a little heavier and, you know. Yeah. You know it like it just all doesn't make sense to me that... The Cybertruck thing? Did you see Joe Rogan and Elon on their podcast? Yeah. Joe Rogan really said, hey, let me hit it with an arrow, though. Like I know, I know it didn't get it got shined, but like I don't know if they showed it getting shot. Remember the when they first revealed it, and a dude chucked a rock and it did break it. Yeah, the, the, that was like the meme. The they're window, like, yeah, yeah, they're like, but no, it's all bulletproof, it. and the dude chucks a pebble at it and explodes. <laughs> yeah, Elon was like, oh, whoops, but then they fix it. Yeah, oh, whoops. <laughs> well, that's well, that's why I'm defending Rogan in still, the sense that he's like, I saw a rock bust this thing. Let's see if you're it, talking it, shit. It, yeah, I'm gonna throw I a guess. bow at it. And know. compound bows are crazy. The force coming out those things. Yeah, but. I don't know. I'm not gonna be like, damn. It took hella. It took hella ammo. I'm gonna shoot it with my arrow. <laughs> <laughs> he probably just didn't have his like fucking assault rifle on him, and he had his bow because he's in a studio. Hey, I'm just saying. I remember going to uh, driving school or whatever back in the day. Um, like you had to do a classroom setting, and we did that. I don't know what it is anymore, but sort of like 14, 15 in this classroom setting, and. Uh, they had like that famous video they would show everyone where everyone like dies. <laughs> Fuck, what was it called? It was like a government video, and it's just like so gruesome. It's to scare you out of driving fast. Oh, um, um, red something. Yeah, red concrete or something. Yeah. Where it just shows red a bunch, asphalt. Yeah, it shows red like asphalt. a bunch of legitimate like, accidents. Yeah, and like people that. just getting f- mangled. We and, don't got that. Yeah, so they're like, <laughs> it's basically to scare you to fucking wear your seatbelt and not drive fast or drink and drive. Uh, but then also, my teacher was cool. I don't even remember like what he looked like, but I remember him telling us a story about like road rage. Uh, this must just be like some California shit, you know? Like I doubt they're teaching you about road rage and driving school in like Missouri. Probably not. But they're like, yeah, like there's no need to, you know, get angry or tailgate or throw hand gestures or scream out your thing because. Uh, and then they show like a news story of a guy pulling over, going to his trunk, and he has a crossbow. Oh, no. He has a crossbow yeah. and goes on like a murder no. scene. Oh. And it might have been Northern California. That's kind of tough. Yeah, he, like he didn't have a gun. He just fucking hard. cranks that thing back <laughs> like he's Robin Hood and kills some people. Up in the state of Jefferson, probably. Yeah, hey, bro, so sketchy. If I got murked by a crossbow, though, you know, yeah, you're, <laughs> I think you're dead. <laughs> bro, no, I know I'm dead, but I'm, gonna I'm gonna be, be looking down at. from heaven like, that's a stupid-ass headline that took me out. Yeah, that's I'm looking at the newspaper. Asian man shot by crossbow dead. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's a shitty headline. Like, hit me but with if a- you had your cyber truck. <laughs> oh, shit. If I was in my cyber truck, I'm safe. That's the point. Uh, Elon, sell me cyber truck, so I'm not a headline. There's also videos going around on the cyber truck uh, just failing off-road tests. Oh. There's like some mountain. It's just like one particular video. So, you know, who knows? It's the internet. But uh, it's like trying to get up this dirt thing and it's just fucking peeling out like crazy, yeah. going nowhere. And then it goes like to a Bronco or something and they're just like just, yeeting up. Yeah. But I mean, it's like every other like Jeep. And, like, right. And, and like, yeah, like the ground moves, water's different. So I could take whatever car today on that same mountain and maybe make it or maybe not make yeah. it. Yeah. P- potentially. Uh, anyway, I have a friend who's probably buying one. He's he put down the deposit. He's got the allocation, and I think it's the twenty third or twenty fourth of this month. That yeah, you the can roll actually, in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think they're out maybe in the Midwest. The uh, the other thing is the price point, right? So you put a hundred bucks down because he said it's going to be sixty k, and then I think like it's eighty k, a hundred and hundred and forty. Right, right. Which and is, it's smaller than it was originally um, um, uh, prototyped yeah. out too. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not for me. Cop or not? So no. Uh, no, I mean, if I got 140 to spend on a car, you know, or even even 70, I'm probably not going to a cyber truck. No. 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 Nah. Yeah. You are? Nah. Even if even if it like fits my needs, say I need to like tow a boat and like it's a utility thing and mm. I have to have a truck or something, I'm still probably getting like a used F two fifty or yeah, something. I'd rather get a real truck. Yeah. Diesel. Yeah. A used diesel F two fifty, you know, like a twenty eighteen is probably around seventy, I'd imagine. Um so I, yeah. Even Teslas. I I mean, there's obviously like a big cult to Tesla folks like uh CrossFit and all that that you know, like <laughs> Like that's the old joke, right? Like, how do you know someone does CrossFit? They tell you within the first ten seconds of meeting them or something. <laughs> like, how do you know someone also drives that? also vegan? Yeah, yeah. Te- Tesla is kind of like that, and it's probably the exact same crowd. To be honest, like it's, if you own a Tesla, you probably do CrossFit and you probably eat pea protein. <laughs> the Venn diagram is nearly a circle. Yeah, it's probably similar, but um, there's a lot of people I know personally that have had Teslas or the things I've read online combo of both that that say they actually suck. I think they suck. Yeah, I don't want one. They're built like shit. You know what I've seen a lot more is the Rivians. Rivian yeah, trucks, yeah. Uh, especially in Vegas, but a few here, too. I think one of my neighbors has one. Rivians in are. Vegas, I've seen tons of Rivian trucks. Yeah. I just like the door flashlight. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. They're cool, too. I just like the flashlight on the Isn't door. Isn't that bread, too? Well, yeah, they're, they're yeah, all. Yeah, they're bread. But the, it comes with a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, you open the door to flashlight. You can buy that at Home Depot. Yeah, what's that cost? A hundred? <laughs> what flashlight in the door? No, idiot. The oh. Rivian. <laughs> I think it's a like hundred. Yeah. Yeah, eighty to eighty to over hundred. <laughs> yeah. I'm so focused on the flashlight. Okay, so tell me about the flashlight. Oh, like you know, like in uh Rolls Royce you have the umbrella that sticks in the door. Yeah. They just got a flashlight in the door, so you can like push a button and a flashlight Bro. comes out. Oh, okay. Thank okay. goodness. I think it's sick. Thank goodness. Yeah. It's always Depot. charged. Go to Home Depot. It yeah. auto charges. Yeah. You got a cell phone. Door. You got a cell phone. You got a cell phone. Sold me. <laughs> Sold me. It's an expensive ass. Pull up in a fucking Rivian a, now. Yeah, it's an expensive ass flashlight. I got a flashlight with four wheels and auto charge. Yeah, I don't know. Drip. <laughs> Again, 100 Gs. The F-250 or F-150 Lightning, I was really stoked on when it first announced, but yeah. I heard disappointing things on that too. Lucid. Yeah. Ooh, Lucid. I'd, I'd probably go Hummer. You don't like that? I think that thing's sick. The new one? Yeah. It's all right. The Hummer's all right. I'm going Porsche. But like... Yeah, the Taycan's fucking sick, but that's different. But give me the, give me the massaging seats and the Lucid. Yeah, the Taycan's sick. Not a Lucid. Oh, it has a massage seat? The, the Lucid got massage seats. Oh. Is that their SUV or I'll something? Yeah, it's, a, like, it's like a Model S type B. But it's Porsche? No, it's a whole oh, other company. You brought up Porsche. You said Porsche and then you said Lucid. I said if I'm going, I'm going Taycan, but I, don't know Lucid. I like Lucid. Ah, let me pull it up. Thing kind of ugly too, but that thing buzzed down on you for real. What about the Taycan then? I'd rather have the Taycan, but yeah, but the the Hummer's sick. Really, I think I think sick. Look, is, is this a fully electric? Yeah, it's I think like it's like a, 180 though, so it's a yeah. That's all right. It's like a Model S, right? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Though in white with the black roof is okay. Yeah, the white one's dope. The other thing too, speak of iRobot. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a Model S kind. Th- that yeah. looks like the Audis from iRobot. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So the R8s though. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Electric Audis. There's a Lexus that looks like that. That I think's maybe a concept. Maybe they're putting in production. That's like two door, kind of sleek, low to the ground, electric. What other movie? iRobot is sponsored by Audi, right? They're all Audis in that bitch. There's another. Audis be sponsoring hella movies. Yeah. There's another futuristic one. Fuck. That has Lexus. I don't know what movie though. It wasn't Minority Report, was it? I don't think so. I think newer than that. Minority Report's really good though. Fuck, I know what you're talking about. God. I don't know what movie it is. Yeah, look up like what sci fi sponsored by Lexus. It's not the uh Fuck, I can't think of shit today. <laughs> the first few years of uh The Walking Dead, all the cars were Hyundai's. Black Panther. Black Panther? They supposed to be Is that Lexus? futuristic though? I wasn't like super Well futuristic. it is, yeah. Well, when you're in Wakanda, yeah. it's very futuristic. But they're like driving on the freeway fighting those things. I, I, what's the remake with... Uh, uh, it's not a remake, but it's like a part two. It was like in the 80s, but they just remade it. <clears throat> We've talked about it a bunch. It's got a, a Harrison Ford and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, Or uh, Ryan, Ryan uh, Gosling. Right, uh, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blade Runner, Is Blade Runner Lexus, 2049. Maybe. maybe. I feel like movies like that. Uh, you guys seen that? The new Blade Runner? I want to yeah. watch it. I've been seeing a bunch of like. Or have you seen uh, Mad Max? 
I've seen Mad Max. I'm not a big Mad Max guy. I think both those movies you just have to do in like a fat theater. Yeah, Yeah, because they're because they're all like a it's like the stories and stuff or whatever. It's all about like a sensation, like environment. Yeah, and so like same thing. They're coming out with a new uh, Mad Mad Max. Max. I mean, I remember watching at home and I was like, what is? Yeah, same same with Blade Runner. I saw it in like the sickest theater and I was like, oh, it's pretty sick. And then I would try to watch it at home and I'm like, this is fine. I don't understand where they're going with this new one because it's it's a prequel about Furiosa who was in um, uh, Fury Road. Yeah. Right? And in the trailer it says 45 years after the fall. But the first Mad Max movie is before the fall and he does not look you know uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know 20 something plus 45. It's Tom Hardy? Yeah. He's not in this new movie though. Oh I thought he is. No. Who's in the new one? Who's the main it's, guy? Uh, it's no, it's Furiosa. It's or no, it's not Tom Hardy. There's another famous ass guy though. I know the girls from Peaky Blinders. No, there's a famous ass guy. It's like Chris Hemsworth or somebody. somebody Chris Hemsworth is, de- is totally in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's who I was thinking of. Yeah, he's like the big bad. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So there's a crazy actually movies because like right now <laughs> we're in the lull of receiving the COVID movies. So there's been like trash out. But yeah. if you look at what's coming in 2024, there's some hitters. Gladiator two. By Ridley Scott, yeah, Pedro Pascal. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I think that's going to be sick. I love that movie, and it totally doesn't hang together if you think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, yeah, I don't. I, I don't think about it too much. I'm, I'm not. Uh, it, yeah, I'm not doing college research. I'm just trying to be entertained. It's gorgeous. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Um, and obviously, even this doesn't, because I think it's about his son. But supposedly, his son died. So I don't know, and I don't really care. I'm still gonna Ridley Scott and Pedro Pascal is gonna be good. There's one other famous. Is it uh, Denzel? Jamie? Somebody's in there, too. Uh, I don't remember. Somebody crazy. I don't know. I was looking up, yeah, what's to come. The the, the Fury Road re- uh, next one. I think that'll be sick. Like some real blockbusters. Because all summer long, we didn't have shit. We well, had, like, Orange Beetle was, like, our superhero. Hey, brother. Blue Beetle, but yeah. yeah. We Blue. got we got Spider-Verse. Yeah, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse is cool. Spider-Verse is yeah, cool. That comes out next year, too, right? Yeah, a new know. one. What I think a new one. 25. 25. I just watched a, a Post Malone uh, just documentary. Oh, was it and good? I, it was good. Uh, it wasn't as good as some other What's it on? music Netflix? documentaries. I think so. Maybe Amazon Prime. But I, did, I guess I didn't realize, because I've known Post Malone since his first album, uh, or like his YouTube. Right? SoundCloud, like, YouTube. Yeah, White Iverson was literally like a YouTube rapper, but uh, the Sunflower song, like how internationally mega oh, viral. That shit was yeah, Spider Verse, and he was talking about like how many people know his song and don't know him. Yeah, he's like it's kind of weird now because like I came up in this niche of like rap. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he's a pretty unique artist to begin with, and that that was cool to see other people talk about it. They have Alicia Keys and uh, Swiss Beats talking about him and like how versatile he is and how he just made his own genre. Yeah. Does, doesn't he got a fiance now? Post? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I don't know much about his love life. Yeah, Denzel is in uh, Gladiator <laughs> too. Denzel. That's my guy. Expected November twenty second, twenty twenty four. Yeah, a little late. That and new panda, kung fu panda looking. Kung fu panda. Ooh. Kung fu panda looking. Is that's fire. Huh? Yeah, it comes out. Is it? Yeah. They uh they busted is it out black? on that Jack Black trailer came out. That shit fire. Is it Jack Black? Yeah. It's got to be. Did you see him walk out Wonder Boy at the UFC? Yeah. Most UFC fights. Holy <laughs> shit. Sacramento cleaned up. I think we're three three and zero oh on knockouts. Yeah, Feely. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Cody and J- uh, Josh. And Josh, yeah. I always say James because that's his brother who's my friend. J- Josh, uh, I saw his his after fight press conference. He was like, he was ups- he was actually a little bit upset. He's like, I can't celebrate this because because he got knocked out in a in a bad way and no, it was not. Did you was not it? coming back around? No, I didn't see uh, it. Yeah, the guy literally had a seizure in yeah. the ring. Yeah, he was like, he was really bad. He's like, I know, I, he's like, I know yeah. his, I know him, I know he has a family. No, I he, know he just bought a house. Up. I know. I, he's like, I, I really hope he's okay. It was one of the craziest knockouts ever. He, it was just like the dude was coming in for like a right hook, kind of or something like approaching, and he just right hooks him square in the face. So it's just head meeting f- yeah. fist in the forehead. Yeah, he could have broke his skull. Like he. F- just gone. I, I, yeah, for sure. But I don't know if I've seen someone seize up like that in uh, the ring. You've seen some people go all like rigor mortis but yeah. this dude's literally having a seizure. Yeah. It was insane. It was really bad. It was really bad. And then he's like standing, but he's not standing. Yeah. It was kind of like a zombie. Uh, like um, like his, he couldn't feel his legs, it looked like. 
Ooh. You know, like it looks like his knees are like holding, like, like structurally in, holding each other up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it was bad. Wow. It was bad. It was a pretty good card, though. I know a bunch of people were weird about it, but not that I'm some MMA fucking expert. Or I've never even done martial arts, but I just watched it since like 2008 uh, and obviously rubbed elbows with all these guys and have some buddies that fought there. But like, and this is a little bit gatekeepy, but I hate like <laughs> extra casual fans <sighs> and like anything. You know, yeah. like just because like someone didn't like bleed or like face or leg broke, they think it's like a bad fight. Yeah. You know, like you don't need someone's fucking leg to fall off for it to be a good fight. But that's how like some people talk. It's true. Yeah. People are like disappointed with like the, the two main cards, but they're they're pretty good fights. If we're going to fight and movies, best Rocky movie. One, two, three, four, five. Creed. <laughs> Creed's pretty good, Creed. too. Creed's the best Rocky movie. Uh, I think you, there's a new Creed, too. What? Another one? I, I yeah. 2024. Oh, well, really? Maybe. I might be wrong. The, there's one that came out this year that I haven't seen. Yeah. Directed that Michael, Michael B. Jordan. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it. It was pretty good. All right. Including Creed, though, what you taking? Creed? I'm taking? I'm taking Rocky 2. I think Creed 1 is really good. Yeah. Um, Overall to Rocky. I think most people say what? Rocky 5? I go Rocky 2. I think it's, it's either Rocky 1 or Creed 1, really, for me. I, I literally grew up watching all of them. I don't know why. My dad, so my uncle was a professional fighter. My dad watched some boxing, but my dad was a huge Rocky fan. Maybe just because it reminded me of Cleveland and shit. Like, Philadelphia and Cleveland aren't that mm. different. Philly's way bigger, but actually not even that much bigger. But it, The hard-working folk. Kind of. Yeah. It is kind of like blue-collar. Yeah, it is kind of blue-collar, like tough people, cold weather, grumpy people. Soft but they're hands, Rise bro. and grind, you soft hands, mother. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Country, yeah. Country day. Country <laughs> day. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, so like I grew up a little bit of that. I, I kind of like them all, to be honest. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Probably Creed, just because like the soundtrack and like the story relates more to modern day and like what I know, you know. But all like, right. what's yours? Rocky was, two? Rocky two is fine. It, who's who's Rocky two? Mister Mister T? Mister T? Is it? Was it? No, I no. That's Rocky no. three. Rocky two is the rematch. Because and then Rocky he, three is Mister T. It's either three or four. I think it's three. <laughs> four is uh. In, it, I would, uh, I would. Break five's you. Russia. Yeah, four. I think f- f- four was Russia. Then five is the the young gun. Three is yeah. Mr. T. Yeah. That, I mean, and five. Five's the, f- the the montage in five is like the most epic thing of all time. And then five si- is also good. Six is just called Rocky Balboa, right? Yes. Yeah. And he's old. That one's yeah. odd. That's new, ish. That one's odd. New- I don't even know if I've seen that one. Yeah, it's fine. Is it's it, fine. Is Creed two? Is they said uh, they didn't like it because it was like a remake of Rocky Four, kind of yeah. Right, yeah. I still liked it though. I yeah. liked it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've seen the new one. I haven't seen the new one. For but sure. the, the first one's really good. Yeah, they're all good. Uh, What's her name? Is fine. <laughs> Sorry, that's all he cares Tessa about. Tessa Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must enjoy. She doesn't know you exist. You, you must en- about, have enjoyed. Ha ha ha! Debut, <laughs> debut. My debut. You come up to her hip. <laughs> Short kings up. No, they're not. <laughs> Short kings up. They're not. We up. There was like a thing where like dad bods were in, so you got that going for you. <laughs> well, I'm snatched. <laughs> I don't think dudes want to be snatched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I don't know if any woman said man I'm trying to find me a snatched man's You'd Tessa, be surprised. Tessa Thompson trying to she, find me Yeah she, she went from fucking me. juiced up Michael B. Jordan to your dumb ass I fit her Louis Vuitton bag You would <laughs> Like a little chihuahua You would You'd be her little chihuahua You would Woof woof Tessa Thompson What else woof, woof. She, uh, She's in uh, Thor Same yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah Valkyrie Yeah she's very pretty she was in something else too, like OG stuff. Like she grew up a actor, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I can't I f- remember. I feel like she's in some like Fresh Prince of Bel Air type shit. As Possibly, like one of his yeah. girlfriends, or maybe a Family Matters, or she's been around. You don't even know Family Matters. No Family Matters. All right, name a name a character. I don't. I just know the TV show. <laughs> yeah, there's one famous ass character. Oh yeah, but like. No, no, name it. I don't watch name Family it. Matters. I just know the TV show. The one, the dude with the glasses. I don't know his name. Okay. Are you Googling it? You're no, cheating. I'm He's up Tessa, cheating. I'm looking up Tessa Thompson. Yeah, she's definitely in some stuff. She was um, in Westworld. Yeah. Yeah, she's like the director, right? Uh, Yeah. She's a you seen Westworld? No. Best. I know everyone says this, like, first season's so good, two, second season sucks. But Westworld was probably the hardest fall off in all TV. 
I would have to agree with right? you. Right? Like, first season's in my top three shows of all time, all time, all time, all time. And from there, trash. And I literally Dang. couldn't finish it. Fuck. I couldn't even finish season two. I watched Sorry. the whole thing, but, you know, I don't know. Was it, it worth it? Um, Yeah, for me, because I'm well, cause i like a fan of the first movie from the 70s. Oh, okay. And have then the se- oh, no. sequel is terrible, but it's, like, totally, like, watchable because it's terrible. I'll, I'll throw it on a list. If you like season. sci-fi, I think Westworld is one of the best shows of all time. Yeah, I don't know what else she and Mike besides the big one. I don't see nothing old that I know. She has been in 68 things. Just know. Matt's in her pocket. Little Woods. <laughs> pocket. I don't know that pocket one. Pocket size. <laughs> if you need someone pocket size, Tessa Thompson. Hit me up. <laughs> Five, six, solid 148. <laughs> she was in a couple of, of seasons of Veronica Mars. She was in Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I think she you've been older than that. Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, Massive, when a stranger hard. calls. <laughs> Sup, Doc? 2006. Sup, Doc? Is there a new Stranger Things coming? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of hot shit coming from <clears> it. <throat> um, Even I Stranger know. Things, although people talked a lot of shit on season two and three, I think is less of a fall off. Like, season one Stranger Things is so good. It's iconic. I didn't but get to season two. I stopped after It's before. way better than season two of Westworld in comparison, I think. Uh-huh. I would agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Like Stranger Things, uh, it got a little weird, right? Like Kai Green comes in out of nowhere. And <laughs> what? Now they're in Chicago or something. Yeah. Yeah, Kai Green? Yeah. <laughs> what? He, yeah. he had a grapefruit. I don't That's know. That's tough. That was you didn't know that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Kai, Green, Kai Green's in season two of Stranger Things. What? Yeah. They go to like some city or something. Now I'm going to watch it just because Kai yeah, Green. No, that's why I watched it. I, I was with him. <clears throat> in 2018 like, or something, I think. And then like I, uh, I was hanging out with him in a lobby in a hotel. And then uh, like a couple. Like a year later, they announced that he's fucking in it. Oh, that's late. Is no. it he? Is he in that episode where L runs away for a while? Yeah, and yeah. she finds like a gang of like, <clears throat> which was a backdoor pilot for something they didn't, else they didn't follow up with. I, they they talked about it. Yeah, being yeah, 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 yeah. What I didn't, uh, I don't know what I was looking at. I think me and Kyle were down at Conspiracy Alley the other day, and I started googling <laughs> things around. I'm surprised. Uh, Stranger Things is roughly based on uh, MK Ultra, which that. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except that it has a whole supernatural component to it. Well, you never know. You never know. You You never never know know what's going on out there. Well, speaking of supernatural and things that happened on Saturday night, uh, Keegan Murray, 11 straight threes. Yeah. That first time in NBA history. Yeah, Kings are balling. Kings are balling. There's another crazy stat. Brunson uh, from New York, I think, in the second half of their game last week, didn't miss a shot. Lord. He went like thirteen what for thirteen the from the field. I don't know. Yeah, he went absolutely I know he went nuts. I don't know. ape shit. He scored like forty. But yeah, I mean, for for a sophomore player like Keegan, who's probably our third, maybe even fourth option to score forty seven, is pretty crazy. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doesn't happen a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Giannis just scored like sixty five. Oh yeah, they shut out. He put his kids on the bench. Yeah. Let other team know you ain't nothing. You just babysitting. People are balling, man. <laughs> Hey, we're balling. The Kings are balling. How long do you think the beam lasts? Forever. As a see. as a as a amenity. As a like consistent every win, beam on. Do you think? It yeah, goes like down? Uh, as a tradition. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, th- we're gonna be good contractually for at least another like two to five years. So they're gonna do it during that, and then and then say we absolutely are trash again, which is likely unless we get some crazy <laughs> shit, or or Fox really does love sack and stays. Um, but let's say hypothetically we're good for like four years, and then we're trash again for another four years. They'll keep it for those four years to try to keep some kind of morale going. Yeah. You don't deserve it no more. Give me this. Some of the cowbells, right? Cowbells became oh, a thing. Cowbells were a thing. Literally. literally just because Shaq called us a cow town. Shout out Arco. Yeah, Shaq was talking shit on Sacramento as a city. Called us a cow town. We all ring cowbells, and that's lasted twenty four years. Yeah, there actually, there was a there's a thing coming with the cowbells because you know Chris was um, contacted about doing something with them relative to what his business is and yeah. cowbells, but they just didn't give him any timeline at all. Like it was too it's too short, like way too short to to produce a quality product. He's yeah, like, screw it. Yeah, I mean that's how it goes, right? Come up with an idea and you got to execute. And you got to execute Especially really at that, quick yeah. at that level. Yeah, they got shit to do. Yeah, a couple big trade rumors going on. I was just talking to uh, our boy Wayne. Shout out Wayne uh, about that because um, he's a big basketball fan. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Show Otani to the Kings. 
<laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Stupid. Did you see what I sent you? Yeah. Were we talking about it? The yeah. contract thing? The defer? Yeah. That is so crazy. But it's did you read why? I know why. Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't know why. Yeah. The, so that they don't put, push them into the luxury tax zone. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. It's because after, if you get paid, uh, like after 10 years, uh, you get taxed on where you live, not where you sign the contract. Uh, so Tani's going to retire in 10 years, move to fucking Florida, and make all that money. Yeah. Well, mo- most of the players, a lot of the players live in Arizona or Nevada where, where there's not personal income tax anyway. No, no. But you, he, would get pay- he would get taxed on L.A. stuff. Only when he plays in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah, two yeah. mil, not the but not other mil. But, but you away. defer it, now he won't. Yeah. That's got to be a loophole, though. It's got to get patched up <clears> in <throat> sports. Or else. Uh, have yeah. You, but have you seen the Wolf of Wall Street meme about it? No, about Otani. Oh, it's fucking great. Somebody does uh, DiCaprio's voice, and they describe the whole process of of how they put the thing together. Yeah. And, of course, they have him at the end from the movie saying, is this legal? Uh, fucking of course not. Yeah. Uh, I I don't think it's as common in sports because, like, deferring to only make two million a year is wild. No, I know, but like, like only the biggest star could do that because they're making enough on the back end to like live his lifestyle. But if yeah, every single- you know, like R- Wilson or whoever the fuck Russell is paying him seventy mil also, so he doesn't care. If every single team though starts deferring. Uh, a lot of guys do that. Fu- yeah, Lebr- LeBron was one of the first ones to do that. He took a smaller. That was the big thing of him going to Miami. Yeah, is that he was one of the first to take a baby contract so they could sign Ray Allen, Chris Bosh, and Wade at a max contract to win. And a lot of people uh, hated him then, and they forgot about it because he's so legendary. But the truth is that changed sports forever. Like, and not that he's the first ever to do it, but he was the first huge name to take winning and less money and i think it did ruin uh, a lot of sports and there's articles going around in the nba right now where guys are choosing even though they're maybe not in their prime but they're still very good to play overseas uh, because they think it's now just a social media buddy game to be in the nba rather than like the Kobe's and people that want to stay with LA and play for LA their whole career. Yeah, to win like championships. Even now, right? Like Steph Curry, like the the Warriors aren't playing so well. And everyone on Twitter's like, time for Steph to leave. Like, that's cool. Uh, and I'm kind of torn on the subject myself, but like, I, I I lean towards the old school where you draft players, the GM does it all. Like now, like most teams don't like the GM's <laughs> playing second role to their best player. Like, Steph Curry's texting homies to come play for the Warriors and then running it by the GM. Like, that didn't happen back in the day. No. Same reason why they're all, like, buddies now. Like, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson couldn't talk to each other, so they low-key hated each other, you know? Or, like, it just, it just didn't work the same. It didn't work the same. So, I, I, I think that's a newer problem, and I, and I still don't think it's that common. And, and Otani's obviously just making headlines because that contract was so ginormous, and the, what he's deferring is 98%. No, yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, in 1991, Bobby Bonilla signed a five-year contract worth $29 million with the Mets, and he still gets paid every year because of the deferment. Yeah, he gets yeah. paid $1.19 million every July from the Mets. That's tough. <laughs> Obviously, like, That's these guys... That is so lit. <laughs> these guys have, like, insane people uh, doing their numbers and shit because you got to yeah. balance also, like, inflation if it's too far away. Right. right. If you're talking yeah. 91 and that guy got his loan sum then and put it into real estate or something, yeah. he'd probably make more now than one one mil a year. Yeah, probably. You so. know what I mean? You take 29 mil in 1991 and you throw it in any house <laughs> market <laughs> anywhere, you're you're going to be up more than making one mil random cash. You know? But the difference to to with that tax loop now it might even it out. Yeah. You yeah. know, 70 mil taxed in Los Angeles County. Yeah. That's whooping your ass. Yeah. Uh, and how old is he? He's mid-20s? Like 28. Oh, Tony? Yeah. yeah. He's like I think he's still 28. Yeah. So late 30s, you know, he's still getting cashed yeah. out from whatever. Yeah, Nevada, Arizona, Florida. Arizona has no income tax? 29. Yeah, I think it's no no yeah. income tax. A, a bunch of players live there. Yeah. Yeah, and just uh, spring league and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Kyle lived. All this rehab oh, yeah. and shit. Right, yeah. Makes sense. Um, All their doctors. <clears throat> we, uh, when it, when it, when there's time and, and stuff, we typically talk about a rose and thorn of the week. And I have, um, I have one that is both because sometimes that's the case. Um, I had a dripping faucet in, in, 
in our front bathroom and family's coming for a couple weeks from Canada so I wanted you know not have the faucet be leaking sure so I uh, I looked in like how what's the best way to fix it other than just replacing it and so well you know they have cartridges inside the you know the valve cartridges right so I take one of them out and I go to uh, Home Depot and I look for the cartridges and they're if I buying two cartridges, you never just do one because I don't actually even know which one was leaking. Was almost as much as just buying a new faucet. Yeah. So I fuck it, I'm gonna buy a new faucet. So I come home, and I turn off the hot water supply, and when I when I turn it off, it's fucking leaking everywhere. There's like water shooting off all over the place. So I turn the house water off. I go take this thing off. And the whole end of it is corroded. And just like there were two threads holding it together. Oh, shit. So it was like ready to explode all the time. Why did the hot water piss everything off? Hot wa- but apparently the hot water ones corrode faster. I don't know why. Probably just because it's yeah, hot yeah. water. I, yeah. I have no idea. Um, so there's no water in my house on Friday night. Um, I Take a uh, piss in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, our daughter-in-law used to be, uh, Sam's wife, used to be in property management. And she had given me the name of this plumber that she liked. So I called him at 6 o'clock on Friday night. And I was like, here's my problem. And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I would come, but it's my five-year anniversary with my wife. He's like, I can probably come, though. And he kept, like, trying to talk himself and me uh, into yeah. it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Sounds like a workaholic. <laughs> Stay home, for heaven's sake. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> Like all last week, I woke up at like six fifteen, just you know, spontaneously, no alarm or anything like that. Saturday morning, when he, when the guy said he was coming at nine, I woke up at seven forty to a text that was ten minutes old saying I'll be there in thirty minutes. I'm like, Holy fuck! Shit. <clears throat> so he shows up, and he is literally one of the nicest, most positive, like joyous people I've ever so- encountered, especially. In the trades, yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, sometimes for a grumpy. plumber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah, man, I really love my life, and I lo- uh, right now. And he like he explained all about his about the conditions of his life and how yeah. he never really wanted to be a plumber, but I really love helping people. Like, I want to be the hero. That's cool. I want to be the superhero. And he's like, and he's rich as shit because there's no plumbers in the world, he, right? And he's like, <laughs> when he's when he says when he says uh, 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 that you know he likes he likes helping people, whatever. It feels good, and he kind of hugs himself. I'm like, dude, like, be careful. I'm going to hug you on the way out of here. (laughs) And he did the work, and it was great. He was, like, super collaborative about it because I I didn't need him to do the whole job. I just needed him to do the part that I can do. Yeah. Super cool. I did hug him on the way out. So that was my thorn and my rose all in one. That's dope. There's a thing I posted a long time ago. Not a long time ago. About four weeks ago is this – He's actually like a golf content creator. I think his name's Eric, but he goes on like this old, it's like a, I think it's like a Chinese wives tale type thing. And he tells a story and I don't remember the exact story, but basically um, something bad would happen. Yeah. And then he would say, uh, and someone would come to him like his kid, like, oh my God, like dad, aren't you so angry? Like, that's so bad. He's like, I don't know. We'll see. And then something good happens from that. Like uh, the one of the, and it goes on like a trickle effect for like 10 instances. But uh, like one is like um, um, my son broke his back riding a horse or something. And they're like, oh my God, like you have to be so like, what's wrong? Like this and that, your son's back. He's like, yeah, we'll see. Next day, the army comes to draft all fighting age sons and they can't take his son because his back broke. He's like, yeah, we'll see if that's good. And then something else happens. And something right, else right. Happens. But the long story short is just that, like, there's always, yeah, there's always, like, wait for the good or wait for what the actual trickle outcome is because everything's kind of ripple effect, kind of like that. Like, yeah, it sucks that your fucking water bursted, but you, you met a super positive, cool guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. that That probably overshadows a leak. Yeah, I, I have not just a plumber that I trust, but a pl- plumber that I like. Which is like, yeah. crazy. Yeah, or just the instance of some guy <laughs> that literally deals with shit all day long. Right. And like plumbing is like probably one of the mo- most annoying things in the world to work on, I would imagine. Yeah. One, because of the literal fecal matter. But two, it's just like complicated and cold and yuck. And mm-hmm. then the people you're dealing with, they're all grumpy because their house is flooding. Yeah. Right? Like that's not a fun industry. And this guy finds a way to be positive. You could probably find a way to be positive in any bullshit you deal with. Yeah, for sure. I I was yeah I was blown away by the whole experience. I was very happy by. It. Of course, then I spent the whole rest of the time doing the 
rest of that job and then recalking the bathtub in that room, which is sucks. Caulking? Re- caulking. Re- yeah. cal- you know, just like taking off the old caulk yeah, is yeah. awful. Taking off caulk is yeah. Pause. Whoa, whoa. Taking A U L K A U L K. Yeah. Yeah, and I tell you that if you use caulk remover, it doesn't really work the way it's described. It's just trash. It's called a blade. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah, happens. Yeah, depending it's on how old a blade. it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Even if it's new, it's called a blade. Yeah, and then you scratch up the fucking porcelain in your tile. Well, if you're really careful. Not if you're good at it. Yeah, you right. treat it like glass, and that's fine. All right, man, go get your cock story. <laughs> go play with cock. Yeah, we didn't know you are so good with cock. <laughs> I thought too that um, you know we um, Mike texted the group this morning saying we're because you know we're Mike's traveling for the holidays my family's in town whatever and um, um, we're not going to actually have a staff meeting for our staff until after the first but Mike uh, asked everyone to think about their like personal goals and things for for 2024 and I was trying to see if I could find a really good article about um, about how to set goals yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like methods and methodologies and I think it's becoming more and more popular as like maybe it's just my it's hard to tell sometimes because algorithms on social media are so strong mm-hmm. you watch or like some shit then you're just getting plowed with it but it's so what's hard about it for me is to see like what's actually popular in the world or if it's just popular in my feeds right but exactly. it seems to me globally um, that uh and, and I think a lot of it was COVID. You know, people lost their jobs, and it, it hit everybody. It aff- affected me and all uh, all of us a lot. Um, that, uh, like, making money, investment, financial, entrepreneurship, like, all that seems very, very popular. Um, and a- along with that uh, are a lot of tool sets that come along with that, which is goal setting. Because you go work for a big corporate company, they're telling you, you know, they're telling you your yeah what's important things that you have to read your data your goal setting like hey Seboss, your goal is you know this amount of views and this amount of this by this and this where when you work for yourself or even smaller companies you kind of have to set the environment set the goal yourself right but but there are a lot of people talking about goal settings obviously new year's is a big time yeah anyone talks about it in fitness space it's been a thing you know uh, yeah. especially in our world like the reason to power lift and why we still talk about like strength training is like it's so tangible your goals by loading more weight which forces progressive overload which forces motivation which forces accountability um, and that's kind of the point of goal setting anywhere but in power lifting specifically it's just so zeros and ones it's so easy yeah it's pretty straightforward yeah, yeah the personal goals are harder think, yeah way for harder. sure um this, I'm looking at a site called BetterUp.com, and they um, there's one part of it I think that's 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 very legit. They talk about uh, five things to consider when you're setting your goals. One of them is to be specific what your, about what your goal is. So if your long term goal, if if your long term goal is X thing, but it requires a lot of steps to get there, those are your those are your interim goals. So you're not like you know, you're got, got constantly staring at the cliff of a giant goal. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Which makes sense to me. Uh, measurable, like how, yeah. like how will you decide if you succeeded? Yeah. And some some kinds of goals are hard for that. I think. Yeah, um, but that's when you just break them down. Yeah. Like, uh, I want to have more free time. Like, that's hard to like line up. But if that's the headliner. Yeah. Like, all right, well, where's all your time going? How yeah. can I eliminate that time? I need to make four scheduled time on free walks by myself or nature. Once you, like, chisel it all down, and that's kind of the same as powerlifting. Like, all right, I want to deadlift 800 pounds. Like, okay. Then how many times a week do I have to deadlift? What do I have to, you know, I got to at least pull 750 by July 2024, mm-hmm. and then you can chisel it all down. That's why powerlifting is so beautiful because once you learn how to do it in powerlifting, it is more complicated, but you really can do it in anything. Yeah. They say uh, if you write down your problems in detail, that's 90% of your answer. Put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it, Ogie. What I do? <laughs> Nothing. I'm teaching. I'm what teaching you. I'm spitting things, and you got to fucking <laughs> write them down. I'm trying to teach you. I write down. If only someone were recording this somehow. Anyway. Yeah. Um, write it down. I bet. 
Uh, so uh, uh, the next one, achievable. And I think that this is like the, the biggest problem with corporate goals pretty often yeah, is that really they're hard. not like sales goals are like way out, you know, in, in places that don't make any sense with logic or reality. And when well, there's more variables, right? Again, if you're taking the power lifting versus, yeah, your own personal versus a big business, so much of business is out of your control based on the economy and based mm -hmm. on X and based on Y and the weather and depending on the industry you're in, it's based on a million, fa you know, if you do apparel, it's based on COVID, like everything can affect it where the gym, not a lot can affect it besides you and having right. access to a barbell. That's where things get really fucking complicated. And the bigger the company, I, I guess it, there's a, a teeter totter, right? The bigger the company, the more data you have and the more pieces you have to build a streamline, which makes it easier. And then the smaller company you have, the more control you have, but the less data and the less tools you have to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. So they both kind of even out to be equally difficult. And publicly traded companies often state huge goals that then they, they they'll like back pocket them. Yeah, you it's know? like stock marketing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So you're using it to create a buzz right. in, you know, in the stock market, but probably you're never going to deliver. And only the analysts that are paying attention. Yeah. And the investors who are paying attention know you didn't achieve your goal. You yeah, know? yeah, on reports. Yeah. And then we got a whole year's an election year, so who knows what the fuck's going to go on on yeah. the planet. I know. No kidding. Um, realistic is the fourth one. Yeah. And I think that, that I don't know what the difference between achievable and realistic is, honestly. It's pretty much the same thing in my mind. Yeah, me too. Same. Yeah, I don't really know either. Uh, yeah. Um, Maybe achievable is like allow you to reach a little bit. Yeah. Push a little bit harder. Yeah. Dream a little more. Yeah, because like, but it's like it's very similar. Cause, yeah, and I don't know if I agree either. Because like, yeah, you want you want to achieve. I would actually like switch that. I would say you want to build. And I do that with goal setting. Is like shoot for the you know the silly like shoot for the stars land on the moon, but I think there's something there. So if you build a goal that's your headliner's fucking crazy big dream big, I think you know believe it to achieve it is so real when you break that down. Yeah, it's just a chant people fucking you know say but when you break that down you literally have to convince if, if, if i'm trying to convince the world or make something happen in this reality mm -hmm. it has to work in my head first yeah so you have to dream beyond what's possible because if you don't dream what's beyond possible then then you're going to be stagnant you know for 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 someone like yeah it'd be kind of cool to deadlift like 500 like bitch we know that's doable yeah. you know so like dream like all right I'll, you, you got to dream way up here and then the tangible steps may not line up to it and then you make the achievable steps that get you there. I think if you only dream so realistically, you're like blunting your own brain power. No, I, I yeah, I agree. I think that m maybe the realism part might be like, how does it play off against your other goals? And it's like, do do yeah. does achieving your other goals make it impossible for you to do this thing in right. the, the amount of time that you're thinking? Yeah, I want to deadlift 800 and also be two percent body fat. Yeah, those are not those are not compatible. Yeah, goals. they have to. Yeah, I would say like. Dream big, dream achievable, and then dream like aligned goals. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, they have to align, but I don't know if I like the term realistic. I don't know. Like, sure what does that, that do fucking either. mean? Well I well I think it I think honestly that they put it together to meet their um yeah. the, the they're uh, selling us the acronym because its acronym oh. is smart S M A R T. Fuck your shit. So I'll no, think of a better we'll one. See. Yeah. Number number five is is T time bound. Yeah. Yeah, time so, bound's huge. When you talk personal or corporate, if you ain't got a if you ain't got an end like date goal, yeah, you're never gonna care and you're never gonna push. Like that's that's like rule number two of goal setting. You you have to you have to push yourself. There there's got to be something on the line. Yeah, otherwise you're never gonna do it. Oh, maybe kind of one day start a clothing company. Yeah, like no, no you got like you got to take action. One day. Day one. Who said that? The it's Rock. Like the, TikTok the Rock. Yes, yeah, the TikTok trend that everyone yeah, uses. Yes, The Rock. Your favorite person? Yeah, trend trend day one. <laughs> Fucking liar. <laughs> no He's a liar, sleep. dude. No Talk sleep, about yeah. Hollywood plant. That's a good line, though. Sure, Bro, man. I saw him recently. He looks old. Really? Yeah, The Rock. I saw him in a commercial. I was like, whoa. I wonder if he lost weight. or Sometimes that happens, I feel like, when he gets so jacked. True. All the fat sucked out of his face. Yeah, like your face starts <laughs> to look. I don't he, know. I mean, he has like grays now too. Oh, maybe he's letting his shit grow yeah. a little bit. He mm -hmm. let that in one of the movies, right? One of the Fast and Furious twenties. Uh, <laughs> I feel like he let like a gray goatee, and it looked cool. It looked kind of like the sophisticated cop shit. I wonder if he uses the smart acronym. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe I not. Know. I don't know what he does. Man. He's the one that created it. Yeah, All day right. one, one day is good. It's solid. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> good so, quote, but it is good. I mean, he didn't make that up. He's yeah. It's fine. Fine in concepts, not so great in execution. Yeah, there's no way from he him. made that up. I don't know. And it's now we're done. T. T. That's that it. Tea that's time, it. Yeah. That's Smart. all of it right there. Testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what his smart stands for. Realism <laughs> trend. Yeah. That's all he's got. That's all he's got. Well, that's all I got. Was that a dinosaur in my ear? What? Sound like it. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of T-Rex. I heard it. I was like, what the hell is that? We don't even know what noise they made, do we? What, what you got? We don't even know if they were real. T-Rex? That's what they're saying. That's what the oh. internet's saying. I run fight with a T Rex. You know, saying dinosaurs are made. I ain't winning. I'll be down. You're not fighting a T Rex. No, I'm fighting. I'm not winning. Why then? How long could I last? With what? A T Rex? A T Rex? Yeah. Weren't weren't they like 40 feet tall? Yeah. You're done. Yeah. What are you talking about? What do you mean? I know, but like, what do I got though? I don't even even think of. I I don't even think (laughs) you had a chance on a vegan dinosaur. (laughs) <laughs> They're gonna beat up your pussy. Oh, don't ass. do the vegan dinosaurs go crazy though. No, Triceratops they go nuts, dude. I'm just saying, give all me right, a man. shot. I, all right, man. No, Plug away. Let all idiots that also There's want to fight dinosaurs goal. follow you. There's my realism goal. All right, I want to fade a Velociraptor and a T Rex. Oh, Velociraptor. No, Raptors are too smart. They're probably God, smarter than you. Hit him with a left hook. What? What? Nah. <laughs> Get this man out of here. Get this man out of here. That's my goal for 2025. Bro, there's, there's less like modern day animals that'll whoop your ass, let alone Name the old one. ones. Ostriches. Anything. Uh, I was going to smoke these. Yeah, anything, yeah. bro. A bear, a fucking gorilla, a fucking <clears throat> the, a a wild, falcon. Uh, the wild turkeys okay. wandering in this neighborhood. Yeah. Probably. I yeah, love they're playing with the turkeys. Well, you what? I always chase the turkeys and catch them. They're fun. I'm, I I got scratched. But. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got rabies. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Wait, is that foam seat coming uh, out of his mouth? You run in fade, <laughs> yeah. but a gorilla? Oh, my God. This is the dumbest internet bear. question of all time. A grizzly bear's beating the living fuck out of all I of them. I said, which one are you running fade with? Probably taking my chance with a gorilla if I got to fight one. Uh, oh, that boy's back. Bear, like, statistically, like, bears weigh a 1,000 pounds more. Yeah. A grizzly. They got claws. They got literal daggers on their hands, daggers in their mouth, and they're, I think, like, PSI is stronger both in bite and, like, Grip and shit like that. That argument's the dumbest internet argument all time. Oh my god, I tangled. With Have you seen two gorillas time. fight? Yeah, me and you in the front. <laughs> uh, you're you're a little spider ass monkey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't a gorilla. No, I seen yeah. two gorillas fight. Bro, it's scary. I, I saw that video. On or two grizzlies, like two, a legitimate like fight is yeah. scary. Yeah. I like the video of when people are having a wedding and the girls are just fucking up a deer in the background. I got a question. Oh, I'll, I'll save it for next time. <laughs> what? Shout it out quick so I don't forget my question. Oh, uh, for more bear content, good company. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. 3SB.co. Follow Ogie on his OnlyFans. Ladies and gentlemen, new episodes Wednesday and Friday. Happy holidays from us. Um, excited for the new year. And I'm Solomon Mike. Where you want to find me? Sebas. Sebastian Brambila. On Instagram? On Instagram. I am at the Jim McD on all the social media. The show is 50% Facts, where percent is a word and 50 is just numbers. 50% Facts is a Spreaker Prime podcast in association with iHeartMedia on the Obscure Celebrity Network. Wait a minute. Did you say 50 is just a word and Facts is a number? Yes. Oh, Sometimes I got to change it up. Okay. I was just making sure. I was friend. Like, yeah. yeah. I Sometimes I got to change it up. Just to make sure people pay attention. You were apparently. Yes, sir. Thank you for your attention. We'll talk to you next time. Maybe with or without of you. All right, hop.